Uh, g'day everybody, I uh, wanted to come back and just give you an update on the Azito drop saw that I've had for a few months now. And I, uh, I'm i pretty impressed with the product. I've, had it, I've, I've been using it on all kinds of different jobs. Um, at the moment I'm just building a, uh, a door for my shed. And it's been going strong. It's, it's, a, it's a really simple, easy product to use. It's not uh, as reliable or as strong as your 240 volt drop saws or your brushless drop saws. It's definitely a handy tool to have just for those quick, small jobs where you don't want to get the circ saw out, you don't want to get a hand saw out, you don't want to, you know, all those, yeah, try, trying to get a straight edge and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's, it makes it too hard, but whereas using the drop saw, it actually makes it a lot easier to get a straight flush cut. Um, and you probably noticed that I've just threw up a, a, a new blade on it. I put a, tw a DeWalt 24 tooth blade. I think it's a 210 size. It was the only other one I could find that would fit the saw. It had a lower tooth count than what came with the original Azito blade. The Azito blade that came with it, I believe, was a 40 tooth, yeah, 40 tooth blade. And I, um, it was a great blade. The, the Azito blade that comes with it is a great blade. It does a really nice cut. Um, the higher tooth count, I, I didn't really need. I just wanted to do quick cuts. So I thought if I dropped the tooth, which on a normal saw it would speed up the, the cut, um, which it has a little bit. I, I, it does give it a, a quicker cut, um, but you, it's like you can push any harder. You know, you still got to take your time with it. Pull the, pull the blade down in a smooth action and it'll it'll eventually give you a really clean, nice cut. Um, I mean, the fact that it's still around a hundred bucks, I mean, the problem is with Corona at the moment, they've got uh, probably low stock everywhere, but when they're available, it's definitely worth getting one. Um, it hasn't failed me at all. And I've made, I've used it to make, um, probably three or four sheds and I've cut up, you know, 90 by 45s, 70 by 35s. Um, and I've probably cut, I don't know, 600 lengths. I mean, my one shed I was building, uh, it was like three meters by three meters. It was, um, you know, it took me sort of a day to cut and like, to, to prop it up and to, to wall it up and everything including the roof, and I reckon the, the battery, I've probably only used two bars on the battery, on a four amp battery. So, the fact that it's brushed, it keeps the cost down and still gives you a full day's work easily.